For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. You mentioned the psychedelics and I'd love to get a kind of thought from both of you on this because someone's someone's asking about that here. Natalie says, both Michaela and John, what are your thoughts on psychedelics and how would you argue either the spiritual dangers and deceptions they might bring? Um, obviously, you've, you, you've kind of spoke of it in, you know, not negative terms there, Michaela. So you start us off, Michaela, and I'll get John John for his thoughts on this as well. Okay. I've had this conversation a number of times with my husband, as you can imagine. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't think they're evil. I talked about it a bit on my channel and I have people who are like, oh no, they, you know, make you see demons. And then it's like, well, I just, that's, whatever it, they did to me, I think opened my mind to the possibility of God. So plus, why are they on earth? Wouldn't you argue that maybe God put them there like shrooms? Mm. Or were they put there by the devil? I don't know. I think that they can be unbelievably beneficial for people. I, um, I think that they can probably be used as a replacement for God by people, which is not a good idea at all. So I think people who are really looking for a sense of meaning will gravitate towards psychedelics to fill that void. They don't work like that. And people don't have good experiences like that. And they should mm. not be used like that. So I think you, you have to be really careful with them. Um, I think they're a lot, a lot safer than a lot of the pharmaceuticals that are given okay. out and less addictive. So that was kind of a disjointed okay. version of no, my no, beliefs that, in that, psychedelics. That, that's, that's fine. And, and people take all kinds of different journeys, I, I guess, you know, to arrive at the same destination. But John, what's, what's your, your thoughts on, on the psychedelic thing? Um, yeah, to be completely honest with you, it's a topic I haven't, spent a lot of time thinking about i know michaela has some podcasts on it that i've meant to watch but haven't got to be able to watch yet um but my kind of overall kind of thought about it is i don't i mean so it depends like if it's like yeah i guess i don't know enough to say like you know what i mean too much about it but what i'd say when it comes to spirituality is i'd say it's one of those things like i mean you listen to like joe rogan's and those types and they tend to have different kind of um conclusions that they come to for it you know and so it's it's almost like this thing where it's like if it if it helps in some cases like say it helps um, Michaela um, open her mind up to the possibility of God it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier with experiences and stuff right um, but for some people like um, there's no guarantee that that's where it's going to lead them and maybe it can lead them to other stuff yeah you know what I mean so I agree yeah yeah and so that's and what it I'd can say. lead like, yeah so go ahead yeah. Michaela. sorry I didn't mean to interrupt I, oh, no, you're fine. I, I, I do think some of the visions too you can have on psychedelics can lead you to belief in other things, right? 100%. It can be used like that um, because what you see isn't really explainable. And then you can say, well, that felt real. Um, and, and that doesn't necessarily lead to God. So I also don't know how many like people who've actually found God or are Christians would find use for them. Like anytime I took them, um, most of the times I took them, I was in the middle of something really awful and I wanted to explore my mind to make sure that I wasn't the one putting myself in that situation. So I, I was trying to use them that way and I found them really beneficial, but that was before I had any type of faith. So um, I think they helped me, but I don't know if I would mm. need them now. Right. Right. Yeah. That it's very interesting. I, I did a show actually, um, probably coming getting on for nearly a year ago, um, where, where we discussed psychedelics, um, both with someone who's very pro psychedelics uh, and a Christian who was deeply into psychedelics, but eventually decided that they weren't actually the gateway to kind of enlightenment. Um, though I think she's very empathetic with those who do see it because obviously people are looking for something if they're, they're taking it it's because you know mm -hmm. that there is a, a search a hunger for for you know something deeper than just the material world offers um uh and and i know many people who you know came through the 60s psychedelic stuff and are now christians and say look i'm not saying anyone should take psychedelics but kind of you know i'm not sure i'd be a christian if i if i hadn't been in that kind of hippie culture you know that, that kind of drew me out of it mm -hmm. at the same time but but anyway yeah, and i um, would interest yeah go ahead john Oh, I was just going to say, I mean, kind of like how you just said, I think like, for example, like um, 
if somebody came to Christianity through going to prison, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily that the person telling you is advocating for you to go to prison, you know what I mean? But this was just part of Michaela's journey in that sense. And so um, I think that she makes a good point where she said, now it's like, it, it's kind of served as a function in that way. So now she doesn't know if there's a need for it per se as much because it was part of her journey, not necessarily like, you know, part of the destination that she got to. So. Yeah.